communication. Do you have a lot of communication with them or is it more now you have access to the website? Well, now that I have access to their email, yeah. you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to, um, you know, but once they're a member, they have in our Facebook page, they don't really need to talk to me unless they specifically, you know, want to do something. No, now that they're a member and they have access to our Facebook page, uh, if they want something posted, they would just send it to me because I, obviously I'm the, I'm the, um, Court organizer. Whatever you call it. Yeah, me and, a, and another social. We just brought on a great new social media director. I'm so excited about her. She's She is a, um, uh, just finished her master's in social work um, at UAB. And and she is um, going to start with us. And she's a self-advocate. She's a, she has yeah, several policy. And um, Meg is going to come online with us. She's, you can handle social media. So yeah, so once you remember, you just have access to all of it. Mm. Have, um, Does that answer, did that answer your question? Well, I'm trying to see if there's been any, I didn't know what that would look like for a member. Like if there would be monthly meetings where you guys would meet together. No. Right or... now, no. Well, we're, 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 that is coming. But again, like for example, Arizona has their own mini TASH conference. Hmm. Um, they've been, California has a big, their own big TASH conference. So yeah, that's the long-term goal is that we'll have enough members and enough momentum where, yeah, we will get together and we'll do, we'll try to come up with doing something as a group in our community, whether it be anywhere around Alabama. Mm -hmm. So, but we're not at that point yet. So right now with our officers and our board members, we have just the good old, um, your core group of people and you really yeah, have to build from the, there. We have the good old zoom meetings that we do that, that everybody <laughs> does. So yeah, we, we, or we, we continue to to develop that way through zoom now i feel like um if you were to say the i feel like there are a lot of people that have questions but when they get their answer their questions answered they're kind of okay until they have another hard question mm -hmm. so really someone that's has a tough question that's who you would say hey become a member of tash there are the answers here online. Absolutely. So if absolutely, I, I mean, I have used so much of their information for my for if for, I mean, I'm like I'm my own legal representative. I mean, let, I haven't even talked about the legal um, um, and the support systems there, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just whenever I need something in my life for Kyle's life, I mean, I go there. So it would be because sometimes I feel like. I speak with some parents and they have questions and they feel like they're not getting the answer. Um, whether they're calling people and they're kind of getting, well, here, I'll transfer you to somebody, but it still doesn't come down to, I don't have my answer yet. I don't have a clear cut answer. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you're saying that TASH is available uh, at any point during that process. Right, because you... they have these platforms. They have what's called, yes, Youth Employment Solutions. So they started this big platform um, two years ago and all of that is focused on in the people who run that platform is transition and employment after school. It's all employment based. Mm. And then you have a policy making um, um, committee that meets every other month. And you can listen in on that and, and be able to ask legal, you know, policy making questions and how can I get this changed in my state? And, you know, so they represent all of us chapters. So we're not alone. We're, re we're, we're represented by the folks in, in D.C. Gotcha. So um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So I, um, and then I would say to the community, you know, it, you think it's, it, it was like $3.75. $3.25 for a self-advocate on a monthly membership. Mm -hmm. A caregiver is $4.50 a month. If, you, if an organization... I was going to say that has a staff of five, mm -hmm. thirty-three dollars a month. Yeah, and five staff members, so you can join. And like we have had, um, like University of Alabama, um, their um, their some of their their some of their staff. They're 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 as an organization, and they have those benefits, which it's a little bit uh, higher. But then you have anybody in that organization can can do it, and it's all on the website. I would be interested to see the percentages of memberships from individuals to He said that well, I have that information because um, um, they shared that with us. If I could bring up that grid, uh, that would have been a good thing for me to try to. We, I have that. Let me see if I can find that while you're talking. Because mm -hmm. that is, that's a great, <coughs> great question. Um, and then, uh, so if someone wanted to get, I feel like a lot of times people would like to 
talk with somebody before they make or become a member? Mm -hmm. Do they call you or? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm on. The, I am on the contact number on the um, Alabama Tash Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that Facebook page so okay. you can see uh, the contact information here. So I will put in Tash forward slash. Or let me just go to Tash Alabama. I'm going to see if I can find that grid that shows the membership breakdown. Ah, here's a metric. I cannot believe I found it on the very first time. It never happens. Look at this. I'm so. That's this perfect. Is so awesome. So if you want to zero in on that. Um, is that, uh, yeah, how would I? Can you, you want me, I mean, I can make it bigger. Let me make it bigger. Oops. You want to do it that way? Mm. Or do it the other way? So what I'd be able to wait, do wait. is once we capture a picture of it. Um, and then, wait, that's too big. Because you can't, you need to see the. Yeah, that should work. We'll do kind of a quick screenshot here. So this is a membership metric. Um, going to move the video camera around here a little bit. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. Do you want to try to make it? And I can make this part bigger once they see this. So this is a membership metric um, um, that shows for, for all of TASH, all across the United States. So just, I, and I can just yell out the percentages. Yeah. The um, professional membership was 23%. Um, which is like a professional registering as a professional was 23%. The associate membership was 161. The self advocate was 19%. Student was 14%. So like if you're a college student, you get a discount too. Organization was 6%. And that's the one we really are trying to work on getting larger. Yeah. Um, lifetime was 14%, which is pretty cool. And, um, I'm not sure what this one is. Organization sub that was 11%. I wonder if that's like arc and then the individual arc of Jefferson County, Shelby County, something like that. And organizations. Well, are this is national. This okay. was in, these are national percentages. This is not Alabama because our percentage is still pretty, our membership is still pretty small. But I wonder if like on an organization, if that was, you know, arc uh, or you know any big provider organization and then the sub well organization is six percent so i think if i remember that right that was the one that they were really trying to focus on we really need to get those organizations involved again it's just like going to our legislators and getting them to understand um what's what's going on so it's the same way with in a, in a micro format getting tash out there to un you know, understand how powerful it can be and how much information is to get it to the organization so they can share it with their yeah. other people. I feel like that would be big. You'd have to, yeah. you'd have to contact the, the directors there and um, yeah. they typically don't have a lot of time. And so it'd be tough. But once you, mm -hmm. once you break that barrier, then it would trickle down yeah. to everybody yeah. in the organization. So that I know Tash and Asshole, that's one of their big, in fact, how they're, one of the things they're doing it is like, how do you, how do I tell people about Tash? You know, you got two minutes of your, their time. So Tash, national is a uh, dc is uh developing a video mm -hmm. so that i can use as a membership video to help recruit members and it's going to be super cool and i'll be able to just use that as a tool to help recruit members mm, nice yeah it'll, it's coming out <coughs> soon um okay let's see here so at this point let me go um back and see if anybody has any questions uh in the chat um Tammy is here. Uh, Vera, good to see you. And um, Tammy said that she saw the movie, uh, just watched it this week. So, <gasps> Yay! And I want to see the movie. Where yeah, would I? I'll send, I could send it to you. Okay. I don't know how that would work. I don't know if I can put it online. No, you can't. I, that's what I was thinking. Because no. it would be awesome yeah. to put it out there like that. Yeah, but... and I'll, I'll call, but I'm not saying no. I don't believe in nevers and no's. I will check with DC to see how that would work for you. Would... I know there's a way. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty confident there's a way. Um, at this 